excited about this one. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing as we do everything RC related on this channel. As you just saw, took a quick trip to the hobby shop and picked up the Armor Granite Grom. This is the newest well, 118 scale mini little monster truck from Arma. I'm a mini fan. I got several minis I'll show you in a minute. Uh, so I, in my opinion, I haven't ran it yet, but um, this is more suited for front yard basher backyard basher maybe in my garage here jump it around stuff uh, these vehicles they, they don't tend to do very well in uh, in heavy terrain and stuff like that that's not what these are about uh, super excited to have this on the channel and uh, this is uh, my latest member to the fleet so let's get into the details about it before we speed run it and I'll tell you a little bit about uh, what the granite Grom comes with. You already know one of my favorite parts. Always unwrapping these things. Always super satisfying. Love this green that Arma does. And I like it with the black and white paint scheme. This is a actually a first for Arma. It is fully clipless. I believe to remove the body, these little tabs that you got to pull. I haven't even done it yet, so let's see if I can get it off the body. And that pops off. So you can see. This slots in, and then you pull these little tabs here, and it comes out. It's probably not the easiest. Uh, it does come with a smart light, but this is a 2S. It's a 1400 milliamp 2S 30C. Comes with a 2 in 1 25 amp with the receiver and ESC built in. And this is a 380 brushed motor with the heat sink. And this is, I believe, a new servo. SX110 Metal Gear Servo. Does come with oil filled shocks, front and rear. This is the miniature size D Boot Fortress tire. There are no foams in this tire, similar to the, uh, the Gorgon. This is a full ready to run. It does come equipped with the uh, smart light bulb, smart 2S light bulb, and the USB smart charger. Um, on the Giga side, it does say it takes about a full hour to charge. So I strongly recommend, like I did in my last video, guys, uh, to get a quicker charge. Or if you continue to just uh, grow your fleet, this is an awesome entry level charger. This is the S155 G2 charger. Just got the adapter for the IC2. So it'll plug into this battery directly and I can charge it. All these smart lipos, they do discharge to a proper storage rate on their own. So it makes the maintenance on these batteries super simple. It does come equipped with the SL2, just like the Gorgon. I like this radio. This is all you need to get started. Lately, it's been, it's been coming with these little cards that have these little support QR codes on them. This looks like a new tool. And it's nice to see that most of these cards are not coming equipped with uh, four AA's for the SLT2 remote. For size comparison, here's his bigger brother. And you can see granite grum sits comfortably on top of the roof. So. I did want to thank you guys. Um, I did put out a poll on which color granite ground to get, and you guys uh, did pick the green, so you made the decision for me a whole lot easier. So here's my mini collection as it stands right now. Here's the mini JRXT from Losi. This was a limited edition. I haven't done anything to this truck, but it drives really nice, and it looks fantastic with that paint scheme. Here's a 118 scale TRX 4M Defender. 
have a lot of work onto this thing. One of the more capable miniature crawlers out there. Uh, big fan of this vehicle. This is my fastest of the bunch in, as far as minis go. This is the Low C Mini B Pro Roller. It is brushless with a 2 in 1 6000 kV. This thing is so smooth. Took it to the skate park. Only downside I would say is that I don't have anywhere to run it. I don't have any carpet truck or anything like that. But uh, this thing is super smooth and it, it runs it, it runs great guys and it's, it's quick for its size. And here's a 124 scale from FMS. This is the V2 Smasher. Um, got some work on this one too. Uh, not the most capable but a ton of fun. So this I'm assuming will jump a little bit better. And another mini crawler. Here's my SEX, SEX24. Got a lot of work into this one too. So I do enjoy the minis guys. I enjoy working on them. And I do enjoy them as part of my fleet collection. So uh, I'm going to basically... I'll let you know how it drives and how it compares to some of these. Obviously not the crawlers. But more the, uh, the faster stuff. Uh, this is not as fast. But it does have a two speed and stuff like that. So... Enough yapping. Let's get uh, let's get that smart battery charged up, and let's speed run this and see how it does. Let's see what it does. I don't need to go that far. I just feel like my mini JRXT. You gotta trim it up just a hair. Let's see what it is. Just in 20 miles an hour. Oh, look at that. 22. One more time. Take a little farther out. We'll bring it back one last time. That's full pin. Pretty good. Great, 22. So that's that's out of the box on the stock 2S 1400 milliamp. Because this car is so small, it looks faster than what it really is. Just kind of curious uh, to see how it does on some rougher terrain. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bash it in the garage, see how it, see how it jumps around and stuff like that, and then we'll we'll take it out to the skate park. Move, guys. Gotta make a ramp out of something here, so let's take a little weed and feed here. Take one of these. Maybe. Uh, don't judge me. This is a perfect front yard, garage, or little backyard basher. Oh, she flies, baby. See if it has enough power backflip. Oh, 
Oh, the double. Double, let's go. Let's check the temps. So, heat sink at 127, 128, 130. So, uh, the motor does get a little hot, but nothing too crazy. It, it's probably gonna get a lot worse on, on, on some off road stuff, but on road, on pavement and stuff, it's fine. Oh, my mini beat a little faster here, obviously the truck just on the skate park. I like the way she jumps, guys. This is a perfect little skate party track today. Beautiful. If anything, I want a little bit more speed out of it. But it's doing pretty good. I like the way it jumps a lot. The tuning on the shocks right out of the box are very sweet for these type of jumps. So far, my early impressions on the uh, Armored Granite Ground is that this little thing for 129 bucks to me it's a no-brainer a must add to the collection i like the way it jumps kind of wish it was brushless um it's not super slow it's all right i wish it was a little bit faster that's the only thing but it didn't break anything and i really like how it performs at the skate park guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you on the next one